A good boxing stance is critical to be effective in boxing. All right? There's a couple different ways to execute the stance. Terry's going to execute the stance just like he normally would. And depending upon the style of fighter and how he moves, if he's a pit bull of a fighter or a German shepherd of a fighter, all right, a taller fighter, depends upon how he's going to hold his stance. But that's your home base. Your stance is everything, all right? And that's where everything initiates from and that's where you send your attacks from and that's where you come back to. All right? So Terry's going to stand for us in his fighting stance. You notice his hands are up, his elbows. There's no space between his chest and the elbows. His elbows are essentially relaxed on his rib cage. And his hands are in the perfect position to defend himself. He's not giving us much target area. All right? His back feet are perfect. Some fighters might want to step back a little bit more with the back foot, load the back foot just a little bit more. Even though Terry's, it appears he's flat footed at times, go flat footed, most of his weight's on the front ball of that back foot. In this case, I want him to elevate that back foot just a little bit because some fighters prefer that to get more of a load and a pop on their right hands. All right? But that's a perfect fighting stance. And that's, that's our home base, and that's where you work from.